Imagine you guys telling me how to eat this food. I mean, this was on the table. I've been eating food for a very long time. This is not hoisin sauce. This morning, because it was Sunday, I was looking for somewhere to go that would be open. And then I saw Dong Shuang Center. Don't tell me this is it. What is this? Dong Shuang Center? What the f is this? I looked up on Google. Hey, if I go to Dong Shuang today, is that gonna be cool? And it, was, it said it was open, so I was like, fine. Excuse me? Are you from here? Yes. Where'd you get that? I want one of those. Oh, uh, this is But I think you can get food maybe? Still? I don't know. Can I get a girlfriend in there? <laughs> Could be. Auto. Huh? Auto. Auto? Oh, car. Hi. Uh, are you sniping me? No? Oh, okay. You are. He's warning Oh, warning me. Nice day. Great day. I just... I the car is uh, the car's not gonna hit me! I was talking to the girl right now! Oh, oh, bike, bike, bike! Watch out! Oh. Auto! Auto! There's a car coming! Oh. Careful! Auto! <laughs> Fortnite dance! Fortnite dance! <laughs> he had to be in the sniper. There's no way that's a normal person. <laughs> There's no way. Careful, there's a car! <laughs> yeah, see ya! Bye! Peace! Watch out, auto! I was told that I better not do the typical tourist shit. I'm not saying that I was listening, but you can't tell me that this is the same tourist shit that other streamers are doing, okay? I don't know what the f I'm doing, I don't know where. Excuse me, is this closed? No, it's the closing time. Closing time? Yeah. Is there honey inside? Honey? Yes, yes. Yeah. I am honey. <laughs> <laughs> you want to honey, then you go there inside. There also have honey. That's for honey. Honey, yes. No money, no honey. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, have a nice day. See ya. I think he thought I was talking about literal honey because that is a market. I'm not gonna buy no random actual honey, okay? The stream is getting strange. Welcome to my stream. What is this? What is this? If somebody made a very simple video game in 1990, this is level design. You know what? I feel like there's potential here. Future mommy of the stream is gonna be here. Oh my god! I wanna put my nose in between those plastic cheeks. What is this Dong Shuang Center? I think that one's still open. And uh, if you guys were missing out on the karaoke experience from the park, sounds like there's more. There was a kid that was pissing right here. His dad was holding the baby up, and there was piss just spraying everywhere. I came here to get some Vietnamese food. There's gotta be a restaurant around here I could eat at. If there's a good toy section, then um, I will come back. Otherwise, I kinda get the point of this place. I don't know if I wanna come back here. I don't wanna be here at nighttime, though. I feel like this is a very dangerous area. Restaurant still serving food? Yes. Sir. You are? How is it? Pretty good? I think this one is pretty good here. Yeah. yeah? What's your best dish? Yeah, I think pho. Pho? Yeah, yeah. Can, I, can I get a small one? This is exactly what I wanted. He told me to sit out here, not inside. And I know, people are like, oh my god, this guy flew all the way to Germany and he's eating Vietnamese food. Well, you know what? F you. I love Vietnamese food. Let me try some of this juice. Ooh. In the beginning, I was like, hey, this broth is kind of watery and a little bit flat. But I think I gotta mix it a little bit. All right, here we go. We got the uh, thin, long rice noodle. 
This isn't like a super rich broth. There's no giant bean sprouts. There's no big leaves and vegetables, the things that I really don't like the most. There's sriracha and hoisin sauce over there, but to be honest, I don't like adding that to my soup. I feel like that kind of ruins the original broth flavor. Yeah, imagine you guys telling me how to eat this food. I mean, you guys can, but I've been eating pho for a very long time. Sauce because it was thick. What the f is this? <coughs> it tastes like soap. What the f is this? I don't think that's soap, dude. This was on the table, and I thought this was hoisin sauce. I know it's blue soap or something, and I just ate a whole bunch of it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I ate it. Look at this. Look what it did to my meat. What the hell is this? Did your mouth burn? I mean, my mouth is hot because I've been eating this pho. Luckily, I didn't get too much in here. I think maybe I should just keep eating. Go throw up. I can't just. Just go throw up. You, you go throw up too. Did the blue hair dye taste good? No, it didn't taste good. It, it tastes like chemical flour. That's why I spit it out. Don't eat it. No sh Don't eat it. I thought it was f uh, uh, hoisin sauce because hoisin sauce is thick. Everything else is like liquid, like fish sauce. Let's see what this is. It looks water soluble at least. Excuse me. Do I have to pay my bill for the fall outside? This was in my food. I, it was on the table. I thought it was hoisin sauce. But it, I think it's ink. So I ate it. What do I do? How much is that fall? 12 euros? No, I'm saying I didn't even eat it. Taking responsibility? Oh my god. Is there like a hospital around here? Alright, if it's poison, I'm coming back here with the authorities. That don't look like something a restaurant will put on the table. How do you know? This is Germany. I've never been to Germany before. You think this is some German restaurant was just mustard and ketchup? No, it's a fing Asian restaurant, okay? There's all these sauces, fish sauce. Hoisin sauce? What the hell? Who knows? This doesn't look blue from the outside. Don't mess with me right now. I got poisoned. You know what? I'll go to the hospital right now. Where's the closest one? One mile. 24 hours. Poison hotline knows where to go, how to handle this. Okay. I'll call them. Fuck it. I'll walk towards the hospital and I'll call them live on stream. That way we can all find out whether or not I'm gonna die or if I'm just gonna have diarrhea. <laughs> Uh, hello, Lisa. English? Um, yeah, we can try. Okay, I was just at a Vietnamese restaurant and mm -hmm. on the table was a bottle. I dipped my meat inside and when I ate it, it was very soapy and weird and then I spit it out and I looked at it, it was blue. How much did you eat of, of this uh, one spoonful or, or more? It was a big piece of beef and I dipped it mm -hmm. and I put that in my mouth. And then I, I swallowed the juice, but then I spit out the beef. I thought it was soap, but it's it's too thick to be soap. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's hair dye or ink, I don't know. It was at the Dong Shuang Center. Oh my God. Yeah. So take this bottle and go to emergency room from a hospital. Okay. Show the bottle there, tell your story. The doctor can then call us again and we can discuss what we can do. Should I throw up? No, Am I, I gonna be okay? No, no, I wouldn't do that. No, that's not a good idea. Are you located in in, uh, in Berlin? Yes, we, we are in the Charité. Oh, do you guys, do you have Instagram? <laughs>
Sorry. Uh, my throat's kind of getting a little bit thick now. Hi, I am the owner of the Vietnamese restaurant. <laughs> you have stole our secret sauce. <laughs> okay. Give you give me my 12 euros back, and then I'll give you the sauce back. Oh my god. This is creepy, dude. Evangelical Hospital is in here? Um... What the f*** is this? Diagnostic. Why is this so creepy? Oh! There's two people there. Um... Okay, Hospital Queen Elizabeth. It says open 24 hours, so it's gotta be down this way. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to bother you. Is the emergency room open? Yes, uh, just way and right. It's kind of scary here. I was just making sure this is not like some haunted place. No. It's okay? It's okay. No. I think I got poisoned. It should be okay. Okay, thank you. This looks eerie. This looks like the emergency room of a horror movie. Actually, I don't think I could bring the chat inside with me. So, I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah? But it's, it's still, if it's soap, then how come um, it's... Probably they've added some yeah. some dye. Yeah. Oh, so like if they're yeah. blowing bubbles or something, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It shouldn't sit next to the spices. Yeah, exactly. I, so that's that. And then I was like, oh, excuse me. How was I supposed to? And they're like, well, it's your fault because you put that in the soup. And I was like, okay, no, how much is this? Yeah, twelve euros for the pho. Pho was good though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, still pretty good. Okay, so I'm not gonna die. No, 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 not because of the bit of soap. Drink a lot Drink of water. A lot, but don't throw up yet. Because, don't throw up. Because if you throw up, it could cause a loss of bubbles and your stomach will hurt because of the bubbles. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Okay. Have a good time. Yep, have a good day, guys. I'm alive. I'm so alive. Thank you so God, Jesus. <laughs> what a stream. My first day in Berlin. This is a typical Sunday in Germany, guys. I have really good luck for bad luck. It just so happens whenever my stream is getting a little low, my good luck for bad luck strikes because my bad luck saves my stream. What they were saying is they probably thought I was joking because I had a camera. So they were like very hesitant. They're like, oh, we can't treat you here because we don't have the lab equipment to test this liquid so we can't get you an antidote. And I was like, what? Even the, the 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 one doctor and the nurses, they were all like, ah, we can't do anything. And I was like, is there some place I can go to get this tested out? And they're like, no, you could just wait. So I was like, ah, you know what? I'm just gonna wait here. Uh, the nurses, can you guys give me some water? I'll wait until my stomach gets f***ed up. And as that was happening, these nurses all came out. The one dude was trying to explain to the other nurses what was going on. And one of the old ladies, the one that went to the sink to me, she grabbed it and she was like, let me smell it. So she opened it, she smelled it. And she's like, oh, this is Dubenhamen. And then they all sm smelled it and like, this is Dubenhamen Schneider. And I was like, what the hell is Dubenhamen Schneider? And they're like, oh, it's shower gel or shower gunk. And I was like, what? Dude, it didn't wash off my hands. If it's shower soap with food coloring, I'm gonna assume that you can make some bubbles with that, but that doesn't even make sense, actually. Why would, they, why would kids make shower gel with blue food coloring? Like, what does that do? Can you, can kids play with that? Why is that even, yeah, why is it, I mean, there was, we were at a kid's party, I guess. This story is getting weirder by, yeah, once, now that we're trying to figure it out. What the f*** is this? Why is everything kind of open and abandoned? Um, go in? Hold on a second, let me get a light. Do you guys think I'm afraid of going into an abandoned house at nighttime? <laughs> yes, you're right, I'm scared. Just kidding. There might be homeless people. Huh? Technically, I'm homeless too. Ah!